If you think the 10 year old in you that got to see Star Wars for the first time mm. and inspired you to mm. become a filmmaker would still be going 40 years later, nine films, and then you get to be the one to kind of finish it off. Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy to think yeah. that. What does that mean as a fan and as the filmmaker? It makes me appreciate even more what George Lucas created in the original uh, film, the original trilogy. Uh, the 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 spirit more than anything with which that movie was made, you know, the heart of it, the romance of it, the the humor, the humanity. I just love, you know, I love all, you know, you know, aspects of, of that film, aesthetics and visual effects and music, everything is, is, has something special. But the heart of it to me is the thing that is sort of magical about it. And, and to be able to be, you know, one of the custodians of this story, you know, continuing and concluding um, to be associated with it uh, is a real honor, um, but you you appreciate how much effort goes into making it feel effortless. You know, Carrie Fisher has passed since The Last mm. Jedi, and, and I haven't gotten a chance to see the film yet, but I mm. love the way that I've been told that you've approached it with using mm. unreleased footage. Mm -hmm. um, practically, though, how did that adapt the script or the film that we see today versus mm. what it could have been? Well, th there was no script. So when we started working on it, one of the first things we realized was we need lay in the movie. We knew we weren't going to fake it and, and do a digital version or recast it. So we went back to look at the footage we hadn't used, and we realized we had some material we could use. Of course, if Carrie had been here, and it, it, it you know, it, it's horrible, and, and we loved her, and it, it's, it breaks our hearts that she's not here. Um, had she been, we would have, I'm sure, done other things, additional things. But I feel very lucky that we got to have her in the movie at all. We, we wrote scenes around her. So we, we filmed it the way we would film, you know, a scene with an actor that, you know, was no longer available because of reshoots or, or schedule not permitting. We would just shoot the other sides of, of the scene. Her side we shot four years earlier. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, it was weird because we loved her so much and loved the character. And we were doing these scenes without the most important person there, but because we all, including of course the actors and you know, Daisy especially, had worked so closely with her, she knew what it was to be in scenes with Carrie and she really brings that kind of intimacy to scenes that, that I think if you didn't know you wouldn't. Yeah.